48 laws of hip hop. Law number six, court attention at all costs. That's coming up in just a second. All for the dough. All for the dough. What's up, y'all? My name is CNI, and welcome to Wrap Ups. This channel is dedicated to helping motivated, independent hip hop artists make the best music possible so they can share it with the world and make a big enough impact that they can create an adoring fan base that can support you not only financially, but throughout your creative process as well. And if you want to make it to the top of the game, you got to follow the 48 laws of hip hop. And law number six dictates court attention at all costs. But what exactly does that mean? Courting attention is fairly simple. Anything that would draw attention to you as crazy as it may seem, whether it's good or whether it's bad, all press is good press. If you're trying to draw attention to a brand new song, a brand new style of dress, or a brand new style of flow, whatever it may be, any attention is good attention, especially at the outset of your career. What we're looking to do as individuals is to get as many people as we possibly can on this planet Earth to look at us, to listen to us, to hear what it is that we have to say. What is it about you as an individual that makes you different, that makes you stand out, that would make another individual want to listen to what you have to say. That's what you have to figure out. And that's just the initial thing that we have to do as artists to get other people to pay attention to us. But once we have that attention, it is important to continually change what it is that we do in order to continue to court that attention. A great example of this would be Kanye West. Continually reinventing himself as an artist, doing brand new things, changing up his sound completely so that we as the audience are completely thrown off, completely caught off guard, completely caught by surprise by his new body of work, whatever that may be, however he's releasing it, whatever new beats he's using, producers, whatever style that we've been used to in the past, it's completely new by the time he releases a new album. And this is a fantastic example of what we can do as artists to court attention. Another great example in the modern era would be the beef between Drake and Pusha T. Now we as the public are supposed to believe that Pusha T somehow came across this information and we don't know how he came across it, but he revealed something that just blew our minds because we come to find out that Drake is a father by this woman in somewhat of a scandalous affair and how Pusha T came by this information, we don't know, right? But the truth of the matter is a lot less conspicuous. Obviously, Drake knew that he was the father of this child. He told Kanye and Kanye told Pusha T. And to be honest about it, Pusha T might have even been in the room when Drake revealed this lug of information to Kanye. And I would bet because the industry is a lot smaller than a lot of us attribute it to be, that this may have even been some type of marketing ploy because again, law number six dictates court attention by all costs. So this may be seemingly in conflict with other laws of hip hop, but the most important thing to factor in is how can you retain the attention of others? That's one of the most important laws of the 48 laws of hip hop. So, law number six, court attention at all costs, even if you have to utilize or leverage 
your enemies by giving them information, whether directly or indirectly, so that they can continue to promote your cause. Law number six, court attention at all costs. I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. I'm CNI. We do videos like this every Saturday and Sunday. If this is your first time here at Wrap Ups, I'd love to have you guys subscribe. Click that notification button so you could be part of the notification gang. I'll see you guys next time right here only on Wrap Ups.